welcome. We're here today at Black Solicitors talking about social media. Uh, and I know Chris is an avid fan and uh, has been uh, using social media for, for a number of years now. So um, do you want to kick off and tell us a bit about the journey of bringing Blacks online using social media? Yeah, sure, no problem, Charlotte. Yeah. It was interesting, really. I went on a course, crikey, four, four and a half years ago, and there was a chap there talking about social media and how he thought you could use it in your business. And it was incredibly interesting, but it wasn't actually... I didn't return back to the office and start using it. Uh, instead, actually, I, I spoke to a, a contact, not necessarily a client, a contact called Ian Jones, who said, you must get into this because you'll really use it. And like many people, I suppose, I had that issue of how can I use it to the benefit of the practice? But one of the comments that the chap had made on, on the original course was go on to Wikipedia and change a date, battle a Bosworth or something, you know, change it, and then tomorrow somebody will change it back. And it just really just, I don't know, hit me like a thunderbolt, really. So what it was actually, when I started using Twitter particularly, it was a New Year's resolution. And I just thought, you know what, I'm going to get into this. Fantastic. And that was now two and a half years ago. Exactly. <coughs> so that's how it started. How it started. So which platforms do you use? Is it LinkedIn and Twitter? Do you do some blogging? Yeah, we do, we, we, we do blogging as the firm. Uh, a lot of the solicitors here use LinkedIn. I have to say where we've had most successes is, is, is using Twitter. Uh, we originally took a step away from Facebook, interestingly. That was the mm -hmm. one that was you know, certainly kicking of off two and a yeah. half years ago, three years ago. But actually the advice we took in the early days was perhaps not overdo it on Facebook, uh, whether you can keep up with that, but actually let's just focus on Twitter and, and, and that is actually what we've done. So how have you implemented in your business? How, how did you go about um, briefing the staff, rolling it yeah. out? Well it started with me uh, in essence. I set up the name, you know, C. Allen Blacks, by fluke actually because Black Solicitors was too long. It was a digit too long to use. I had to think of something else. I reverted back to putting my name and the firm's name, which actually I think we've was a good move actually, Absolutely. Yeah. although we've slightly <laughs> changed that now going forward with the, the rest of the guys um, is for example Assad at Law Blacks etc. Um, so we started small, small steps, let's get me using it, let's make sure I'm comfortable with it. I was of course comfortable that I wasn't going to put something inappropriate or daft <laughs> you know up yep. there. Um, and once, once we'd started getting some feedback from, from third parties and it was growing then Assad joined, and then other members of the team, Pete, Ewan, etc. And that's how it's built, really. So, as an interesting case the other day, um, some barristers contacted me and said that they were about to launch into this in a big way, and they'd seen the YouTube clip of me talking about this. And uh, what did I think? And they had 30 or so barristers. And I said, well, don't get everybody using it on day one. Get two or three. And, and, and build it and build it slowly and make sure that every because then people can see what other people are posting and can see the tone of how they're doing it and whether that's successful or not. So that's really how we built it, just step by step. And did you have any challenges in terms of um, what to say, what not to say, or set things? Set yes, things? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I, I started by looking at what other law firms are doing. You know, I wasn't the first lawyer in the country to use Twitter, for example. I looked at others, and to be honest, they were fine, but I didn't think some of them were particularly engaging. I, I understood it, to a degree, uh, but they were posting out just legal updates, which I think is fine, but it's a bit dry, to be honest. And particularly if those Twitter accounts were the firms rather than an individual, I think it came across very dry. And therefore, because we have a sports law department, because we have a music law department, um, my view was, I'll put some law up, don't get me wrong, you know, I'll put some law up, but I'll also put up a lot about sport, I'll put up a lot about music, and I'll put up a lot, you know, we're a Leeds firm. We oh, our clientele is in West Yorkshire and, and North Yorkshire, to be honest with you, the vast majority, I mean, obviously we love clients anywhere, but, you know, that's where the vast majority are. Let's put some things up about, so, you, know, re, you know, local events, Opera North, uh, the Playhouse, the arena's being built, you know, of let's course. do an update on that. Because actually that is probably a little bit more of interest. Of you know, tomorrow's Eldwick Gala. You know, I'll be putting a thing up about that. So, you know, and I've just mixed it up on that basis. And I have to say the feedback I get from some people is, you know, I enjoy your tweets, which is a nice comment, I suppose. So do you think adding that personality has been one of the big key differences that you've done perhaps compared to other companies? Yeah, I, I do, honestly. And, and, I, and I'd be lying if it was some huge master plan two and a half years ago. It, it sort of fell 
fell in place with other things we're doing here, which is, you know, if you look at our marketing material, the brochure, the website, etc., the newsletters, we are trying to push across this, this reality, quite frankly, that, yes, we are professional people, but we are approachable. We're real people. You know, these pictures behind us, I don't know if the camera picks them up. You know, that's what we are. You know, it goes back to what is a law firm. To be honest, it's a group of people. You know, we don't have the patent for the iPad or for those chairs or this table or that camera that we can sell. You know, all I've got really is, is, is my people. So that's why it was, you know, that's why we've gone for it. And what successes have you had? Is it sort of a continual stream of great opportunities or have there been some real sort yeah. of spikes of opportunities? Yeah, yeah. It, it, people do not, in my opinion, email me and say, I've seen you, therefore please act for me selling my business or things like this. But what it does is it raises the profile um, and uh, it's opened doors. You know, I have a great relationship with lots of the journalists at BBC Radio Leeds and at Look North now. I just didn't have those two years ago. You know, I've, um, a chap came in here yesterday to, to, to do some work for us, actually. Uh, we need something and he's going to supply it. How did he get his foot in the door to come and pitch to me for that? He contacted me on Twitter. Um, similarly, um, you know, being on the radio, there was, uh, on, on this other clip, uh, one night when I was doing a presentation, I was contacted by Radio Leeds that night saying, can you come on the show tonight? Why? Because I put a tweet up seven minutes earlier about an event in Leeds. Uh, so, you know, that's where it's advantageous to us. I went into a restaurant the other day and somebody said, oh, look, there's the Twitter guy. Now, there are worse things to be known for. And I thought, well, yeah. Um, and I think still quite a few of my competitors are nervous about it. And they're nervous. And, and you do go back to this trust thing of trusting the team to do it. Um, so, yeah, it's absolutely opening doors. And you touched a bit on there about sort of some of the metrics of success. I mean, I think some people get really hung up about new business leads and actually what's it delivering on the bottom line. Yeah. How do you sort of gauge that? Well, any work, you, you, know, is, you know, anything that comes in and generates fees is very easy to measure, isn't it? But similarly, you know, the, the airtime on the radio, the time on Look North, etc., and other media platforms, this, you know, the speeches I've done in other parts of the country uh, for other organisations, you know, it, it, it's all, you know, you can't measure, you can't perfectly measure it, but do I think it's beneficial? Yes, I do. Uh, people often say to me, oh, yeah, but how much time do you spend on that? And the answer is five, ten minutes a day. How much time do other people waste on other things that are absolutely a waste of time? You know, Completely. playing computer games, you know, watching rubbish telly. I'm not saying I sit there all night with my iPad looking at the, you know, looking at these, uh, looking at Twitter. And that's the joy of it. You can click in and click out. It's how you use it. So, you know, for me, it's something we didn't have five years ago. It's totally been beneficial. I mean. To some degree, we've been fortuitous in that we have the sports law department. A lot of our sports consultants here, uh, Brian, you know, Robbie, Matt, these guys have got big followings. You know, Brian Dean, for example, will have 10,000 plus followers. Uh, so if he retweets our blogs, then that's great. Cool. Yesterday, Robbie retweeted one of our blogs to his 834,000 followers. Now, you know, you tell me there isn't another solicitor in this country who hears that and thinks, I wish that was our blog, you know. It's a great So stand. it's a tool. And, and it's great that Robbie and Matt and, and Brian and all the other guys and Gerard, they all do this for us. Um, it doesn't really cost them much to do it, of course. When I retweet things for other people, I retweeted a, uh, a, an event for a, there's a charity cricket marathon going on at the moment. Some right. poor devils are batting away for days on end. Uh, and I retweeted that event for them and asked some of the Yorkshire cricketers to do the same, which they duly did. Brilliant. And, uh, you know, great, great. If that helps the charity, brilliant. It's taken, what, five seconds of my time? Fantastic. It's not, it's not a bad thing, is it? Absolutely really? not.